carbon gas conversion fan sales. And what I have behind me here is a 2019 Chevy Express van. It's a three quarter ton van. It is a conversion van by the conversion company of Explorer out of Warsaw, Indiana. It is silver in color. I've got 37,000 miles on this guy. Uh, is a limited SC with the X package. It does have the 20 inch wheels, the lower uh, bumper fascia cover there, all the ground effects, electronic running boards, and so much more. Let's get started on the front. It is silver in color, as I said, and I don't see a whole lot of wear across the front. Looks to be in pretty good shape. Does have the road lamps down there, the uh, front bumper step plate, and uh, the mesh grill for conversion van grill. Uh, the hood looks good. The windshield looks good. All the windows and glass do look good in the van. Somebody's taken the uh, time to tint the windows prior to this. Uh, Body-wise, it looks really clean. Uh, the wheels look really clean. The tires look to be brand new. Either we put them on or they just have a couple hundred miles on them. But not much because I still see the wear, uh, the wear tabs on the inside of the tread there, if you can see that. Body-wise, looks extremely clean. So far, I haven't found seen anything. This is a 19, 37,000 miles on the clock. Electronic running boards. Two-tone gray and graphite. I'm sorry, graphite inside with lighter gray panels. There's your 37, 922 on the odometer. Does have steering wheel controls, dark burlwood dash. Does have uh, all your interior lights that a conversion you would expect in a conversion van. Rear heat and air controls. Got your mood lighting back there, the Vista Bay windows, the sunroof, storage in the rear, surround sound, flat screen TV. Does have a center console that does quick release to come out if you wanted to. Does have a cooler built into it, non-powered. It's, it's an ice box. Wireless charging as well as a game console hookup. Your front seats are full power with heat and lumbar. Uh, graphite in color with light gray piping, you can see. Don't really see any wear as of yet. Smells just fine inside. Does have a class three hitch with your seven and four pin connection, your backup sensors, as well as backup camera. Of course, you're gonna have your blinds on the inside of the conversion van here. Does have your vacuum and jack storage in the rear. On the other side is your rear heat and AC unit. Looks like that uh, blind needs a little bit of adjustment work. Rear sofa bed, three piece design. There it is down. Overall, the van's in really good condition. I don't really see any major issues with it. If you're looking for a seven passenger high roof example, possibly in silver with gray inside, this uh, might be one to take a look at. Doesn't have very many miles on it at all. So far, the body looks really, really good. I haven't really seen much wear and tear on this fan at all. Like I said, someone has uh, taken the liberty to tint the windows prior to it getting to us. here that you can see. And the seats are quick release. They do have the uh, swivel. Captain's chairs are swivel, obviously quick release. They do recline and incline, and they also adjust for legroom. Your center console does have a DVD player, a game console hookup in case you want to plug in an Xbox or PlayStation. Of course, wireless charging there if your phone is compatible. There's storage for your headphones on the side, lighted cup holders. All your leather looks to be in great shape. Seat belts built in. Of course, window blinds on all your windows. Oh, well, that one's missing one, so oh, God, i got to write that up. Okay, well, it's missing a front window blind. We need to get that one ordered for it. I'm not sure they were aware of that yet. Does have wireless charging in the rear as well on both sides. And you have some storage up top. All right. See our complete inventory at www.gmcconversionvans.com. 
or give us a call. All the information is on the website, including current pricing. Thanks so much for watching, guys.